Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom 4 star tutorial for beginners and this is our part 4. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we register our custom column to custom post type. Okay, and for our previous code guys, you can just visit to this github repository to download our previous code. Okay, so far what we did, this is our github link. Okay, so now if I click on this file, this is the file that we have made in our previous video sessions. So these, these are the codes guys that actually we have written in our previous video. Okay. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of custom post app tutorial to get the clear vision about this playlist. And also, if you haven't watched our previous video session guys, just go to YouTube and now inside this playlist called WordPress custom post app tutorial, you can find our previous concepts. Just back to editor. And now this is the main plugin file guys that we have developed to develop our custom post type concept. Okay, so in this video session guys, we will use our action hook to add our custom columns. So basically what we actually we will do inside this video session. So just go to administrator panel. And now this is the movie section that we have registered in our part three. Okay, and now if I click on suppose edit, we have made a meta box called producer details where we have filled about the name and the email details. Okay, we want we want that the name and the email section should appear at this data table section. Right now, this data table has a checkbox, a title, author, comment, and the date section. So, how can we add our custom column to this table? Means we want to add the producer name and the producer email to this data table. Okay, so how can we achieve that? To just just go to slides, and now for that, guys, we are going to use this action hook called manage post type and this is post columns okay so just back to editor first of all let's copy this action hook go to editor and now let's define an action hook called add action inside this add action hook just paste it here so and in the second parameter we need to pass the callback function so let's say wpl owt custom post type and let's say custom columns okay so inside this placeholder post type what we have to do here so just scroll up and remember once actually we have registered the movie section this is the custom post type movie that we have registered by the help of function called register post type so this is the first parameter that we have passed is called the post type okay so just make copy this post type name scroll down and paste inside here okay so just I'm going to paste it here Next we have to define this callback function. So just make copy of that and let's say function. This is the callback function that we have defined for our add custom column action hook. Okay. So now in this para in this function guys we have to pass a parameter called columns. Okay. And basically we need to return this column at the last end of this function called return columns. Okay. So what basically this column contains? this column section is guys is a variable type this is of type array okay so basically if you go to administrator panel and this is the data table we are actually we are going to add our custom columns first we need to inspect that after inspecting guys we can see that actually the th columns if we just close it here and now the th column just see the id of that called cb this is for the checkbox okay if i zoom that so this is the id of the first column that is cv means checkbox second column has the id called title just scroll down third column has the id called author fourth column has the id called comments and date so finally these are the ids of the corresponding columns in this data table okay so we want to make our custom column okay so how can we achieve that so just go to editor and let's say that columns it's an array type so array so basically inside this array we need to actually fix all the columns we want to this movie post type okay so let's say that first we need to pass called the checkbox section inside this checkbox section it will contain let's say that input type and it should be checkbox okay so if I just save this file go to browser reload this page 
So as we can see that this table now contains only the checkbox section. Why? Because we have actually redefined the column section by the help of our post type called manage post type post columns. Okay. So we actually we have redefined that columns. If I comment this action hook, just comment out and just refresh this page. So why we have passed the call CV here? This is the ID. This is the ID that we have retrieved right from here. Okay. So if you go to the checkbox section, this is the ID. So if we want to appear the title section in this data table, we need to use the title. So just make a copy of that. Go to editor and just let's say title. Okay. And let's say that this is called the movie title. This is the custom label name that we have assigned to this ID. Okay. So if I just save this file, refresh this page and now we have a checkbox and we have a movie title. Okay. So also we want to add a date section as well as publisher name and the publisher email. Okay. So just back to editor and let's say that here is called pub email which is publisher email. Okay. So let's say that publisher email. Okay. Next we have to add called the pub name. Okay. So it's a pub name and this is publisher name okay and finally we want the date section okay so let's say that date okay so if we save this file go to browser and just reload this page and now we can see that we have added successfully two custom columns that is publisher email and the publisher name with the date section so if we inspect these columns just i'm clicking on inspect and now as we can see that the thing that we have passed right here is became our ID of that column. Okay. So if you think that this is the pub email and the pub names so just back to browser and now we can see that this is ID called pub email and the pub name. So basically the key we have passed inside our array is converted in our ID section. Okay. But checkbox title and the date section are the predefined columns of WordPress. So successfully guys, we have learned that how can we add our custom columns to custom post type. Okay. So in our next video session, guys, we will see that how can we render data? We want to render data inside this publisher email where actually we want the publisher email that we have filled regarding this movie. And also we want the publisher name according to this movie. Okay. So this we will see in our next video session, guys. So if you have any query in this video session, guys, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.